Now, one of the strongest voice campaigners, prominent Indigenous leader Noel Pearson, wrote a very controversial piece in the weekend um, Australian, uh, and he said the referendum will test us, but he also called readers of the Australian newspaper and people who disagreed uh, with, you know, the voice to Parliament, he said they were bordering casual racists in their views. Um, do you think the voice campaign, and, and this is, as I said, a prominent Indigenous leader, you know, calling readers casual racists, do you think the voice campaign is becoming overly emotional, less rational? Look, I've said right from the start of this debate, it's important that we remember we're all Australians and that it's important that people who are advocates for the voice hear the reasonable concerns of those people who doubt. Just as it is important that people who are opponents of the voice hear the concerns of Indigenous Australians and others that think that this could make a difference. Mm. I think we need to have a civil and respectful debate uh, and that's certainly the way I'm conducting myself and I hope other Australians will be conducting themselves too. Well, Stan Grant has also uh, said that tonight's Q&A will be his final one for some time. He said he's been subject to racism uh, partly because of this debate, also, of course, partly because of uh, that Coronation Night panel where you were a panellist alongside him. Um, what do you think of his comments? Uh, do you think perhaps ABC directors, this is a programming mistake, that they shouldn't have had that sort of panel on the coronation night and, and that, that has caused this backlash? Look, I'm happy to go on any television program and defend our wonderful system of constitutional monarchy as I did that night. But I think the program panel was a little unbalanced. I mean, I think there was uh, effectively four people arguing um, against the system that we have and I was the only person arguing uh, in favour of the system that we have. And that doesn't make for a fair and balanced panel because, you know, it means effectively you get, you know, a, a quarter or a fifth of the time to one side and all the rest to the other. And, and that's not, uh, not balanced. But I said that night mm -hmm. because I started to see some of the online hatred that Stan was facing uh, that while I disagree with Stan's views on this, I absolutely deplore the racism that he has had to, had to face as a result, not just of that panel, but over a long period of time uh, as, a, as a public figure, as a prominent Indigenous public figure. I don't think there's any, any space for that sort of conduct in our country. And I'm sad that Stan is leaving Q&A. I think he's been a, a reasonably good, uh, good compere and I hope he comes back.